Okay, today I'm going to be doing Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm going to be recording all 16 chapters, one chapter at a time, and uploading them one chapter at a time. So if you're having issues getting through any particular chapter, just go ahead and go through my videos and pick the one you want, chapter 1 through 16. That's how they'll be numbered. And I'm going to be doing this in professional mode. Now, the bad thing about professional mode is, as you can see, there's no auto-saving. It limits you to 15 saves per game. If you're trying to get the cat ears, you have to save 15 times or less. Otherwise, you will not get an S-plus score. You have to do it on a new game using no special weapons in order to get the cat ears with an S-plus score. Any using of special weapons, the best score you can get is an S, and that will not get you the cat ears. And of course, if you don't know what the cat ears are, the cat ears will give you the ability to get infinite ammo. Now we're going to jump right into this. I don't really like that snuff scene in the beginning, so I skip it. How far could he have gone? Now Leon here, as a cop, he should know better about going into somebody's house without a warrant or even knocking on the door. Anyone home? But he is looking for a police officer that went missing and the court may give him uh, okay to do this because he has what's called ex ex exigent circumstances. Oh, hey, I'm here to borrow some sugar. You got any? You seem like a nice guy. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. That's suspicious. Oh, that guy's got a headache. Oh. Now he's got even more exigent circumstances, hearing that guy scream in the basement. Good. Gotta pick up the key. His situation is ah! What was that? This just keeps getting worse. 
Now let's examine the body for a minute. Okay, where's the rest of it? It got blown to smithereens. All we have is a lower torso. But does Leon have the uh, ability to commit homicide with that guy? And now that guy. I'd say under the circumstances, he's got probable cause to believe that his life is under immediate threat, great bodily harm, or death. And that's the girl that was snuffed out in the beginning. Bruce. We'll see her body her later on. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... Talk later. Here's Johnny. I'll let myself out. We have a vendor. Only on professional mode. Maybe on hardcore. Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Now, with all this other stuff that's missing the jewels. You don't want to sell it. <laughs> Thank you. Got us to come back any time. Unless you're really hard up for cash. But what you do with it is you collect all these jewels, you inlay them, and then you sell it. Now for the most money, you want the yellow, and the red barrels. See, look at that, 108,000. Where if you were to replace any of these, it would drop significantly in value. Those are the rarest jewels, though, that you can come across in this game. Which is why you get the most value out of them. The crown is what pays the most. And you'll win a trophy the first time you do it. I save my red and yellows for the crown and for that uh, elegant necklace, ornate necklace. And for those of you that are not aware, the crows will give you different um, things that you can pick up that'll be useful, like gunpowder. The gunpowder you can use to make ammunition, you can use it to make flash grenades, I think, and uh, you can use it to make uh, hand grenades.
customize your your case with these uh, charms you have to do it at the at the uh, typewriter and what you want is you want an Ashley those are the three best charms the shotgun the medallion and Ashley the shotgun actually increases your speed 8% the uh, medallion gives you a 20% increase on your melees hit rate and uh, the Ashley does increase your health 50% for a single green herb and if you have two green herbs you get 100% restored health And that looks like a 1954 Chevrolet or, or a, a GMC pickup. Now when going past these two guys, once you get past them, stick to the left. And the reason for that is because you want to avoid the trap. And then there's another guy in this little shack. Or at least there was another guy in this shack. You'll also find a flash grenade and a red herb. Now, one red herb, one green herb will give you about 100% uh, health if you're down to almost nothing. Now if you have a yellow herb, a green herb, and a red herb combination, that'll actually move the health range on the green bar at the lower right corner, increasing your, your uh, health. Think of it as a gas tank on a car. It moves the needle when you have all three colors. There's the other police officer that was in the car. Check out the eyes on this guy. Look how far apart they are. That's the only time you see that character in the whole game. But you will see multiple characters, the same character, again and again. <laughs> like the guy that we just blew in half. There he is, right there. We broke his neck, we blew him in half. Lost his upper torso, and there he is, whole again. You can call that guy Lazarus. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Yeah. 
Each one of these represents a dead bad guy. One. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. First out. So we got gunpowder. We got nine mil ammo. We got some money. Let's see how many we got in total. I think you gotta get like 15 kills before the chainsaw guy comes out. We got two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. But I did get two after the, uh, the cutscene had begun. And you need to break a bunch of... Uh, <coughs> boxes and barrels and you'll find other stuff that might be useful to you. Now these animals will attack if provoked. And there's a uh, necklace right there on that windmill. Ugh. More stuff to sell to the vendor. Shit. So you don't want to bump into the cow or the pigs. <clears throat> but you do want to shoot or stab with these uh, blue medallions here. And the vendor, he'll actually trade you for certain items that you're going to need, such as the uh, stock on the Matilda, stock on the Red Nine. Now, when coming through here, your best bet is to duck underneath this. You can actually walk up to it. And then just hit X and it'll it'll disarm this trip wire. But it could come in handy if you come over here and somebody comes through that door behind you, they'll blow themselves up. See there's a yellow herb. Yellow herb is useless for you once you get to that level on the green bar indicator for your health. It doesn't get any higher than that. But the vendor does pay a pretty penny for it. I think you get like 10,000. Ah. I did not mean to jump down there.
That's the one thing I don't like about the game. You have no peripheral vision. But it does make the game more exciting. So you want to break open the barrels, the crates, and open up these chests. shoot the lock or you can use your knife but if your knife isn't fully upgraded like mine you'll eventually break your knife and then when you get to the vendor he'll fix it for you but at a cost now if you played the original Resident Evil 4 you're going to remember a cable car ride. <clears throat> and there's the cable car. <clears throat> but now it looks like it's long since been out of service. He did not want to push that cart. They don't cotton well to Fadesteros <laughs> around here. Watch out for the traps in this area. But the traps can also be your friend. Because these guys will get caught in them as well. Did he just call me a whippersnapper? Fire! 
this the place? No, no, please don't get up. It's a burrito. Like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Who are you? Just stop right there! <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, and now that's the end of chapter one. We will continue in the next video from this starting point. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon for the upcoming video for chapter two. And thanks a lot for watching and leave a comment in the comment section below and also um, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing this exact same run but with no commentary have yourself a great one